Hello and welcome back. In one of the previous videos, we calculated the reaction forces on the pin joint A and the reaction force on the roller joint J. Now in this question, we are required to calculate the force in member BJ. So to do this, we need to employ the method of sections. So we need to make a cut through the member BJ. Now once you've made a cut through those members, those members now become forces. Now I need to decide which part of that cut do I take. Do I take the section above the cut or the section below the cut? Now in this case I'm going to take the section below the cut for convenience purposes and it just looks easier. Now you can do the top section and you still get the same answers. So now I need to draw a free body diagram. So we have this force going down, force going to the left, AB is cut so that becomes a force. IJ, uh, AJ stays intact, IJ is also being cut, so that becomes a force, and BJ is also cut, and we have that. And we've got a force on J, which is up, and that's 70, this is 20, and this is 15. Once I've drawn the free body diagram, now I need to decide which equation I'm going to use to solve the force in BJ. Now we have three equations. We have sum of forces in the vertical direction, sum of forces in the horizontal direction, and sum of moments. Now in this case, we're going to utilize the two sum of force equations and see which one works. Now if I do sum of forces in the vertical, I have AB, which I don't know, I have IJ, which I don't know, and I have the vertical component of BJ, which I also don't know. So here we have three unknowns, and it's almost impossible to calculate the force in BJ. So now if I look at some forces in the horizontal direction, AB has no horizontal, IJ has no horizontal, but BJ has a horizontal component, and we've got that 15 kN force going to the left. So in this case, we have only one unknown. Now before I break up BJ into its horizontal component, I need to find this angle. Okay, so going back to the truss diagram, we have AB 3 meters, AJ is 4 meters, so there's my right angle, and there's the angle here. So just expanding that right angle triangle. So there's right angle, there's three, there's four, and this is my theta. So to find theta, I have to use tan, because it's opposite over adjacent. And I get theta is equal to 10 inverse three on four. So theta is equal to 36.87 degrees. Now that I've got my angle, I can now apply the sum of forces in the horizontal direction. So sum of forces in the horizontal direction is equal to zero. I'm going to consider right as positive. So I've got 15 going to the left, so minus 15. Now I need to break up BJ into its components. So we have BJ. And this is my starting point, so I want to get to its destination. So I go left, and then I go up. There's my right angle, and this is my 36.87 degree angle. So I want the horizontal component, so it becomes BJ cos 36.87. So now putting that back into the equation, we have minus 15 minus BJ cos 36.87 is equal to zero. Make BJ the subject, and you get BJ is equal to negative 15 over cos 36.87 and you get the answer to be negative 18.75 kilo newtons. Now, because it's saying magnitude, we don't really care about the direction, so BJ is equal to 18.75 kilo newtons.